Morning guys, a few people have asked me to show you how to rig up a Savage Gear 93 Roach with a quick rig and I must add fast clips and the primary reason being we are, our boat's not that big, we don't have that much storage so I want to be able to throw all these monsters into the one compartment where they don't get tangled, there's no mess the most important part of the rig is the security pin if you want to call it out of the 32cm 93 Roach I'll show you the, the rigging system this is the existing one out of the 32. You can see the security pin and the first travels at the back end of it with a long piece of wire and your hook pin. My adoption, I have my front travel at the start of the security pin, keeping this travel closer to the head of the bait, personal preference. Smaller piece of wire and hook pin. I'll set the lures on top to show you the hook positioning. That's the original. And this is my adoption, so the hooks are a lot closer to the head. That's just personal preference. In regards to the wire, absolutely nothing wrong with the Savage Gear wire. If you can get the crimps to suit and you know your diameters, go ahead and use it. If not, I've used a hundred pound titanium and passed the crimp through it three times for security, no slips. That diameter of wire allows you to pop everything up inside the baits or the only thing shown is your mustard clip. Pops out nice and easy. I'll show you how to, to rig them up. So, front end of the security pin, and the mustard clip, pop that on. Put the security pin up inside the bait. If you ask me, all the big Savage Gear lures should come with those pins. You can nick that back travel into the bait if you want. There you go. That first travel's closer to the bait. Well, put it on the peg. Positioning. That hook harness will do your 40 centimeters everything. So I hope this helps everybody. And Savage Gear, if you're watching, produce more of the Arctic chars. We're running low. <laughs>